I show you my two favorite teeth whitening products. I answer the age old question, briefs, boxers, or boxer briefs, and I answer many other great questions on this episode of Ask Future B. <laughs> What's up? I'm Patrick Trippy. So, you guys may have noticed that there was not an episode of P. Trippy Reacts on Monday. And the reason for that is because I had no Wi Fi. Yeah, I was freaking out. All I did all day was watch TV and eat a lot of food. And also, I was going to post on Facebook and Twitter that there's going to be no episode on Monday, but then I completely forgot I got distracted. And by the time I remembered to post, it was like 6 o'clock at night. So I was like, you know what, F it, I'll just address it on Ask Peter You guys probably don't know this about me, but I forget things and I get distracted very easily. Oh, for a second there, I forgot I was filming an episode of Ask Trippy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so enough talking, let's get into the questions. The first question comes from Thomas Belly, and he wants to know, how tall am I in meters and centimeters? Well, according to my calculations, I am 1.73 meters tall, and in centimeters, I am 172.72 centimeters tall. I could have rounded that, but yeah. Thomas Belly also wants to know, what is my shoe size? Now, I've worn shoes that are size 11, size 10 and a half, and size 10, and that's because every manufacturer of shoes manufactures their shoe sizes a little bit differently. But the shoe size that I typically wear and I'm going to define as my shoe size is 10 and a half. Thomas Belly also wants to know boxers, briefs, or boxer briefs. For reasons that you guys may know, I obviously do not prefer briefs. Now boxers, boxers are okay, but when it comes to putting on your jeans, I don't wear skinny jeans, I wear slim fit jeans, and still those can be a little bit tight, and you know the struggle when you put on those slim fit jeans, they just ride up, and it's a pain in the butt. So my preferred preference is boxer briefs. And the last question from Thomas Belly is, how do I keep my teeth so white? Do I use something, or does it just come naturally to me? Now, I was looking at my teeth in the viewfinder earlier before I started filming this video, and I noticed that my teeth do look pretty darn white. And I think the reason why is because of the lighting and whatnot. But to be honest, my teeth aren't perfectly white. These two front teeth are white. But then they get a little bit yellow off to the sides. If you watch an episode of Peach Reacts, you will see what I'm talking about. It's kind of ugly to look at for me personally. I'm a guy who loves to have a nice cup of black coffee in the morning or coffee from Starbucks whenever. Nine o'clock at night, doesn't matter. I love coffee and also I love to have tea occasionally in the evening. So coffee and tea are major teeth stainers. So as you can probably guess, I've spent a ton of money on teeth whitening products over the years, but I have found my two favorites. I've got a toothpaste and a mouthwash to show you. Let's start off with the toothpaste here. Let's set down that mouthwash. Here's the toothpaste that I use on a daily basis. This stuff is amazing. It is Advanced White Stain Defense Extreme Whitening Baking Soda and Peroxide by Arm & Hammer. The reason why this toothpaste works so well, and I believe it is the best whitening toothpaste out there right now is because of the two ingredients baking soda and peroxide. Those two ingredients are well-known teeth whitening ingredients. And now for my favorite mouthwash. Now I have to say this mouthwash that I'm going to show you is my second favorite. Here it is. This is the Crest 3D White Glamorous White blah 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 mouthwash. This stuff is amazing but I'm showing you this as an alternative to my absolute favorite which is this one right here. It's Rembrandt's deep stain lifting something something it's the green bottle it's the green bottle uh, that is my absolute favorite I just picked this one up it is my second favorite because I ran into an issue where the store that I usually go to to pick up my toothpaste my mouthwash and whatnot did not have my favorite so it's like okay you know what I'm just gonna have to pick this up because I need mouthwash and I don't feel like going all over the world not really I didn't really feel like driving all over the place just to find my favorite mouthwash so I just picked up this so if you can find the Rembrandt green bottle, whatever the hell it's called, I can't remember offhand, pick up that. But if you can't, then just pick up this because this, this also works wonders. So there you go. Those are my two favorite teeth whitening products that I use on a daily basis because what I forgot to mention earlier is that white teeth does not come naturally to me. Ed Mab wants to know, would I like to visit France one day? I would love to visit France one day. It is actually on my bucket list of all the countries that I'd love to visit before I die. Don't know if I'm going to make it to all of them, but I'd love to get to some of them. And France is on the top of the list, mainly because of the Eiffel Tower, but also for other reasons, because I think I would have a blast in France. 
And last but not least, Jamie Bowman wants to know, am I gay? Honest question, by the way. Ooh, that rhymed. Hey! First off, thank you for being honest, because most of the time, people just leave that comment just to troll, and just to be rude, and I am dumb, and I just answer it anyway. So thank you for saying that that's an honest question, because most of the time, I don't get that. And to answer your question, no, I am not gay. Alright, so that's all I have for this episode of Ask Preacher P. Some quick announcements before I close out this video. Hopefully you guys get these announcements and you didn't stop watching. Baking with Trippy won't be back until October 29th, and that episode is going to be a Halloween-themed episode where I'm going to be making something awesome and creepy and spooktacular. Now, the reason why Baking with Trippy won't be back until then is because, like I've said numerous, numerous times, I am working really, really hard on the next short film. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to come out and say this right now, I have changed the story two times already. I started working on the short film, filming it and whatnot, in September, at the beginning of September, and then I was like, you know what, I don't really like the story anymore, so I changed it. And then I started filming again, and then I was like, oh, I don't really like the story anymore, so I changed it again, and I just started filming that story at the end of September, and it's going to take me to Till like the middle of October to actually get done filming now. So yeah, my bad. I hope to have a trailer out October 22nd. So fingers crossed that this is actually going to be getting done. And hopefully with all the hype that I've been giving it, hopefully it's going to be spectacular and awesome. All right, so please leave me your questions in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them on a future episode of Ask Future P. If you smiled while watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up down below. Also down below is a subscribe button and click it now. I upload awesome content like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so subscribe now to avoid missing out. All right, so thank you for the wonderful questions. I love you guys. I'm Patrick Trippy, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>